Hey guys, welcome back to Green LRB. It is me, the creator of Green LRB here, and today I'm here with my brother. Hello. On today's video is our second educational video. We will discuss about something related to food. We have a bowl and a plate. plate. So without further ado, let's, let's get started. On our second educational video, like we said, we're going to discuss about food. Yep. We got a bowl and we got a plate. plate. So, most of you guys out there might witness this combination, you know, this combination. Yep. Yes. So, like, you might, you might have been eating soup in a restaurant before or anywhere out there. You might see some waiters give you this and say, here's your soup, but why they don't give you like this? Here's your soup. <laughs> so in today's video, we're going to explain how their plate under the bowl works and why they give it to you like this and not on hands with the bowl. So we found it on Google. They said right here, Charger plates can catch pieces of food and prevent spills and messes that would otherwise stay in the tablecloth or flow onto the table. Chargers also help to retain the heat on the dinner where since they are placed directly underneath plates and bowls. So they call this charger plates. But this is like a plate, but charger plates is significantly smaller than this. So they say right there, they said they can catch pieces of food and prevent spills and messes that would otherwise stay in the tablecloth. That's what it simply say. But it's not only that. And since this video, we're gonna tell it's we're gonna tell perspectively how it works. So let's get started and let's get on to the footage. Yeah. So we're here now in the kitchen. We got this plate here. So first of all, to put this bowl onto the charger plate, the charger plate doesn't look that huge at all. It looks something similar to, you know, similar to this one here. So you simply put the bowl on top of it here. Or well, sometimes the bowl is smaller, but I would say put it in here. So what happens here? If you just if you just fill it in with the cold water, we got this thing with the cold water right there. It's ice cold. So Alton, yeah, I would ask you a favor to grab the grab the plate, grab the plate. I mean, grab the bowl, not the plate itself. Grab the bowl. Yeah. Yes. Do you feel any? Do you feel anything um, uncomfortable right now? Yes, I just feel that it's cold. So it's kind of right. It's kind of like very cool to manage. That's why, guys, we do you when you're drinking cereals or anything in a mild temperature condition or a mild condition. We just simply use cereal bowl without a charger plate, just as we said, ain't it? Yeah. Yeah. What if you just use the plate? Or anything warmer that's like a common sense let's get this thing in a hot water so yeah we got hot water now the yeah. water is kind of hot so I would ask Alton to grab it uh, it's hot. huh it's hot. so you can't grab it no, so can't, huh? I can't. oh you can actually but then you feel less comfortable than how you was in the first place Yes. So actually, um, what you actually do? Like kind of runs your hand. You can't use the bowl with your hand. You have to just grab the charger plate. Grab the charger plate and then you walk with it. I will ask you to no. They don't walk with it like that. You just grab your whole hand to the charger plate, and then mm -hmm. I will ask you to walk it down to the kitchen. Yeah. I mean, walk it down to the mm -hmm. living room. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
So actually what you can see here, it's much easier to operate when you just use the charger plate to carry the bowl. So then to prevent the spill. So that if any spill goes, it just goes around the plate as you can see right there. If you just use a bowl with just cereal for example, it's okay to use a charger plate to prevent the spills of the milk to go on the ground, to go on the, to go on the surface. But from here you can see that it's used, the charger bowl is used to prevent spills. So then these spills that you see there could have been on the floor or any other surfaces as you can see there. So it's why we use charger plates when it comes to places like restaurants or any bars if you see somebody shaving out soup then they give you a charger plate the courts that's how they call it a charger plate so that's what it is for so you got it now you learned something new here yeah yeah so guys we're back again if you have learned something back there on our last footage if you, and if you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that like button and smash the subscribe button and be sure to click the notification bell so you won't miss any other upcoming videos on our YouTube channel. So, this was it guys. Thanks for watching this video and be sure to comment too. And if you want to be in the shout out, you can comment appropriate comments just as we list on the settlement on the settlement of Green LRB that if you comment, appropriate comment will be in the shout out on our next video. But since this is educational video, it's gonna be on our next educational video. So that's how the shout out works. So once again guys, thanks for watching and we'll see you on our next educational video. Goodbye. Bye. Ah!